are present at the tip of root or stem they are known as they are known as epical meristem they are known as epical meristem the meristems are present at the tip of root or stem they are known as epical meristem okay <coughs> so after that in that epical merist after next one is that uh, epical meristem this epical meristem involve this epical meristem involve for the responsible of the epical meristems involve this epical meristem present in root this epical meristem present in root he is known as root epical meristem root epical meristem okay the this epical meristem is present this epical meristem is present in shoot is known as shoot epical meristem shoot epical meristem <coughs> root epical meristem and shoot epical meristem okay so both it means root epical meristem root epical meristem responsible for increasing of for increasing of length of root length of root okay shoot epical meristem responsible for increase of length of stem for increasing of length of stem so they are known as a shoot epical meristem they are known as a shoot epical meristem okay root epical meristem and shoot epical meristem <coughs> after that
during the formation of leaves during the formation of leaves and elongated stem and and at and elongated stem stem is elongated and stem is elongated behind that behind some cells are some cells are behind that along it behind behind of some cells some cells are behind of shoot apical meristem shoot apical meristem produce bud okay during the formation of leaves and stem is elongated some cells are behind behind to the shoot apical meristem behind to shoot apical meristem produce bud it is known as axillary bud axillary bud okay so this axillary bud this axillary bud produce branch this axillary bud produce branch during the formation of leaves and stem during the formation of leaves and the stem is elongated some cells are behind to shoot apical meristem produce bud it is known as axillary bud this axillary bud produce branch